receive mercy. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, I couldn't minister on this level if God had not had mercy for me. Yeah. That, that none of us are qualified to minister. Yeah. In fact, whenever you feel like you're all that and you're worthy, that's a sign you are not qualified. Yeah. Whenever you feel like you're all that and you're better than the folk you're preaching to, that's a sign you aren't qualified. That, that nobody in church has a right to look at anybody else and feel superior spiritually to you. Yeah. Because I don't know where you are spiritually. You don't know where I am. But sometimes if you think you're better than somebody, that's a good sign that you aren't there yet. I wish I had a witness here. He says, he says uh, we, we are people of mercy, but he says, I tell you what, I'm not going to quit. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel like quitting. And, and you know, we live in an age now, folks like to quit. Yeah. A lot of folks will stop, they won't finish what they start. But especially when it comes to the church house. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 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 When it comes to a child, the, the people will come to church. Church will be the first thing they quit on. First, church will be the first thing. Y'all hold a conversation while I'm trying to preach. <laughs> you know why preachers make preachers sit in the audience and sit in the audience? <laughs> I'm trying to preach a fast sermon there and start to distract you. When y'all talk, they don't know what y'all talking about. Yeah. Amen. They're supposed to be helping me make a hold of conversation. There's some men. Y'all pray for him, y'all. Amen. Y'all forget him, y'all forget him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, I'll say, I'll say. We don't feel like quitting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes folks will quit listening to the preacher and have a conversation. We don't feel like quitting. That, that, that you have to be careful to have the kind of ministry that you don't allow others to discourage you yeah. in functioning on a higher level. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. That, 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 that you have to be careful that when God is using you to his glory, that you don't allow the Satan, you don't allow the devil to get you, uh, to use you for his glory. Yeah. Yeah. Whose program are you promoting? What kind of ministry do you have? Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 he said, he said, we are confident, we are encouraged. Christians who feel like quitting feel as though they are not accomplishing anything. They feel like they are wasting their time. Yeah. That, that you feel like you're just going through the motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when the devil got you like that, he heads exactly where he wants you. Yeah. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. You gotta be careful not to come to church out of a routine. Don't, don't come to church just because it's Sunday. Don't, don't come to church just because it's a custom. It's a habit. My mama brought me to church, so I go to church every Sunday. I, I need to come to church with a purpose. I need to come to church with a hunger. I need to come to church with a, an expectation. I need to come to church knowing that God has something He wants to give me. But the only reason he want to give me something so that I can give somebody else something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He said, you don't go to the filling station to fill up your car to sit in the garage. When I fill my tank, I don't know how to drive. And before this time next week, I'm going to come fill up again because I would have driven somewhere. Well, when you come to church and you fill up with that God wants to give you, you ought to go out into the hedges and the highway and lift to yourself. I said last week, you ought, to, you ought to sound like Jesus sound. You ought to do some Jesus talk. People ought to think they listen to Jesus when they listen to you because all you're doing is regurgitating to them what Christ has already fed you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have a witness here. So Paul said, no, nah, we, we, we don't feel like quitting. You know, a lot of these folks want to quit. He said, but I don't feel like quitting. Yeah. And you know, it's not what you think. You know, a lot of people, you know, they, they have all of the, the, the trappings of ministry, all of the success of the world, and just because people are doing well, don't mean that they don't feel that quick. Y'all yeah. yeah. remember this, this, this the fellow who's on the soap opera just died last week. Yeah. Uh, a man here, yeah, doing well, but, but he's depressed. He's going through some hard times because his son committed suicide. And he's going through some personal issues. And, and you see, but, but it tells me no matter how well everything else 
can be going in your life. The devil has a way of messing with you. To render you ineffective in doing what God wants you to do. You know how many people come to church and they don't do it like they call them bitch members? Nobody bothers them. It's not until you start trying to do something that everybody will find fault with your action. And they say, I've been going to church 20 years, nobody bothered me, but as soon as I got active, everybody started messing with me. People start finding fault with the way you dress and what you say. We don't do it that way. We did it another way. The devil loves to discourage folk who God wants to use. And you know, I tell you all the time, if you don't bother him, he won't bother you. But as soon as you decide to stand up for the Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, somebody. Paul, yeah, Paul said, I, 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 I'm not like We don't have that kind of ministry. We don't have a kind of I turned my back on on uh, deliberate deceit. That, yeah, that you got a lot of folks, they fake it and shake it. They, yeah, they yeah. bring the world into the church. Yeah. They, you know, all this, they got this holy persona. Uh-huh. But they ain't no more holy than your, your, your toenails. I mean, I mean, I mean they, they, they come out, you know, you know, I always got good, good church talk. Good church, good church, good church language. They they know how to talk to talk, but they can't walk to walk. See, yeah. see, God, the man looks at the outward, at the outward appearance. God looks at your. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I tell you, you can say grace. You see, I know you. See, see, when you're saying grace, you ought to be talking to the Lord. Yeah. You don't say grace just for a show. Yeah. You are having a witness here. Yeah. You heard those people say this, one of the young people saying, uh, we welcome you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. That, that's more than a song, that ought to be a testimony. Yeah. 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 And then, then you, you should come to church and say, you don't come to church to meet God, because he's already here. You don't you come to church and say, come on, Holy Spirit. But, but, but you know, I welcome you to speak to my soul. I welcome you to give me a word. I welcome you to inspire me. I welcome you to give me the spiritual medicine I need to yes, stay yes. on the right level. I welcome you to give me some staying power. You know, we have this kind of ministry we talked about last week. What kind of ministry we talked about last week? He said, we don't have the kind of ministry that's written on stone. We don't have the kind of ministry that's just an old covenant. It's yeah. about laws, rules, and regulations. But we got a new covenant ministry. Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 got, we got the kind of ministry that allows the Holy Ghost to guide you. Right? Yeah. To hide, allow the Holy Ghost to speak to you. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had somebody up in here. That, and you know what I found out? If you want some staying power, you need to have a personal relationship with God. You, you need to know Him for yourself. It's all right to have Mama tell you she talked to Him. It's all right to have Big Mama tell you she knows the Lord. But you need to know the Lord for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not enough your daddy got a secret closet. You better get one yourself. You need to find somewhere in your house where you can isolate yourself. And nobody but you and the Lord can talk about it. Because I find out when you get ready, when you really need to talk to the Lord, the devil's going to send some distraction. Oh, yeah. I told you, have you ever noticed whenever you get ready to pray, he's already got something else to distract you? Somebody yeah. called you, they've called you in 20 years, a yeah. horn blowing on the outside, <laughs> the, the, the stove is the pot on the stove, hot sizzling. It's always something to distract you from just giving God some quiet time. Yeah. 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 We don't, we don't like a lot of folks. We don't have this kind of ministry. I'm not going to spend a lot of time bragging on myself. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about my qualifications. I'm not going to spend a lot of time with them talking about me. My, we don't have that kind of ministry. Our ministry has a different focus. Yeah. And when you have that kind of focus, you have staying power. But not only do I see staying power here, but I see a, a, a speaking scripture. Paul wants you to know that the scriptures speak. The scriptures talk. You, you got to decide, I had to decide years ago, what kind of ministry am I going to have? We live in an age of Christian showmanship. Or we 
come on a whole other level now. Yeah. I mean, we don't have worship service, we have production. Exactly. You can't really tell the difference between some of these Sunday morning services and the and the concert or the what they call it award they give the the Grammy Award. I mean, this is like a production, man. They got bands, they're playing, and they performers come in. You know, you bring people in. Yeah. The show, and understand me, yeah. I have no problem with 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 having the best. <clears throat> I think God deserves the best. Yeah. I don't have a problem with with with. You know, uh, I like this idea of using the internet and people can stream your service down. Yeah. We've been trying to stream our services, but I got a little internet problem for some reason. But but you know, you, you can stream your service. That's the best thing. Uh, when, when sick people can't come to church, come on, yeah. you ought to be able to stream them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when you, you work on your job, and you, can, you ought to be able to stream them. Yeah. Yeah. When they lock you up and you're in prison, you can't come to church. You ought to be able to stream the service. I do have a problem with able bodied Christians laying on their butt in bed on Sunday morning. Talking about they don't stream services yeah. when you're supposed to come to the house of the Lord. Amen. I didn't say it. Don't get mad at me. The Bible said, Hebrews, God said, forsake not the assembly yeah. of yourselves together. Come on. Now, God wouldn't tell you to do that if that was the reason and that was the purpose. You see, streaming is okay, but there are some things you aren't going to get when you stream the service. There's some things you aren't going to get when you look at it on television. I know you're right. Man, I, I, I've been hollering amen to, 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 to the fellow at, at Tyler's house, James. Mm-hmm. I've been hollering amen for a year. He ain't heard me yet. <laughs> he ain't heard me one time. Say, amen. Go on, boy. He had to see, but he ain't heard that I ain't heard him. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? That, that needs to be an interaction in church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's got to be a, a, a give and a take. Yeah. That when the word goes forth, you got to witness to the word. Yeah. Yeah. There's got to be a response. I, I, let me read church, you know, like you're at a funeral. You know, the man preaching like he's at a lecture. Yeah. And folks are sitting there looking and shaking their head. Now, yeah. now shaking your head don't work for me because, you, you know, while you shaking your head, I may not be looking your way. I, but you might say, amen, that amen gets my attention. Yeah. Amen to a preacher like sick of his to a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all not take all that. Well, I throw y'all before, but you don't say amen, my sermon gets longer. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That, that seems to motivate folks to say amen to yeah. their Lord. Yeah, yeah. But, 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 but it ought not be about a show. It ought not be about showmanship. It ought not be about being holy. Better, better put a, see, you can put on a performance yeah. and not have your heart in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Denzel is a very good actor, but you don't know what he's feeling inside. All I know is he he gives a good performance. Yeah, yeah. When he was playing John Q, I could see the anguish in his heart. He's ready to kill to get his baby some uh, medical attention. Yeah. Now his boy, his boy wasn't hurt. He was he was pretending, but I couldn't tell because he gave a good performance. Yeah. yeah. And I tell you, we got some folk in church that put Denzel out of business. As a parent, don't have nothing on some of y'all. Buddy. And I tell you, that's why y'all act a fool in a funeral. You got to climb in the casket to say goodbye to mama, but your behind didn't say goodbye when she was in the hospital. You didn't see me to help mama, you didn't see mama. You didn't want to go by and keep yeah. mama's yeah. back when somebody had to do all that. But yeah. now you yeah. want to climb in the casket Thank you. 
going to make it any better for you. Right. Right. And do you know by the time the funeral happens, you already going to be where you are supposed to be? <laughs> if, if they have the funeral the next day, you already in heaven or you already in hell? Right. And nothing they say is going to change your death. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a witness up in here. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, God, Paul, we don't have need for no gimmicks. We don't need to uh, go through a whole lot of little stuff trying to do this, that, and the other. You know, you know, some people want to give the kids some money to get on the bus, give them some candy. You give them a crowd and say, you're not going to get a crowd. I can have a pack house. I can get a 3,000 3, seat church. A, a church that seats 3,000. Uh -huh. And pack it out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you how you do it. I'm going to give away $500 oh, yeah. to one attender next week. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's like having a lottery ticket and not have to buy a ticket. Yeah. All I have to do is show up. Yeah. You're going to pull your name out the hat. Right. Whoever name you pull, you're going to give them $500. Yeah. Uh, Amen. You can mm. make money like that. Mm. Go get some phone up in here. <laughs> by the way, this is the illustration I have not given you. <laughs> Tell people 
people a lot of stuff for school folks. He says, telling them the truth about their lives will get their attention. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So you ain't got to do a lot of fancy stuff. Just tell them the truth. Yeah. The test is not do you like what is being said. Uh, Rather, the test is is it true? Yeah. Uh, the word states that they that the way they really are is what the world will tell you. The word won't lie to you. The word is not gonna try to make you appear to be something that you are not. The word, the word is not gonna tell you there's nothing wrong with you. I keep telling y'all, anybody who thinks they're perfect is somebody not reading their Bible. When you read your Bible, the Bible will show you where you are messed up from the floor. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. But one thing about the word, it'll tell you what's wrong with you, yeah. but that same word will fix you up. Yeah. 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 It'll show you how to make it right. Yeah. Yeah, truth talks. Paul said truth will talk. Yeah. And I've learned how to just tell the truth. Now, 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 you see, you see, he didn't say we talk to their minds, he said we talk to their conscience. Yeah. Yeah. Which I had a witness here. You see, there's nothing wrong with speaking to the mind because the word is intellectual. God is an intellectual God. But you yeah, see, sometimes yeah. your mind will mess you up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see, your mind will tell you you can do it all by yourself. Yeah, yeah. But your conscience, it'll wake you up. Yeah, yeah. That's what Paul said. Yeah. You have no business arguing scripture when it's.